Morning, everyone. It's uh, 839, and this is your pre-opening comment. It is video number 1315 <clears throat> for this uh, Thursday, the 9th of June, and not great action. Uh, we were substantially higher. I think the Dow that I saw the high was up about 170. By 8 o'clock, it was only up 70. And uh, right now, it's down about $12. Um, NASDAQ was up about 30 now down 16 S&P was up about 12 It is now down about a dollar and a half. Uh, China turned right back down. This is why I don't like to follow Chinese stocks. Um, and they had a... Uh, bigger uh, export surplus than was expected. Uh, FIVE, I mentioned it last night, five below. Uh, yesterday, it was down about uh, six or seven. Um, last night, before, on the uh, minor miss and not great um, guidance. This morning, it's 124 and a half, down 10.82 or 8%. <clears throat> Excuse me, Signet, SIG, went the other way with a beat. Stock is 67.09, up 4.89, or 7.9%. This is kind of a quiet time of the year for them, um, but uh, the report was pretty decent. Uh, Tesla being upgraded at UBS to a buy, an outperform, actually. Stock is 748, up 23, or 3.2%. And the target price is 1100 So, um, while that may not please people who were in there buying it over 1000 <clears throat> excuse me, down here, 1100 looks like a great price. I think we traded... Uh, 675 yesterday, uh, currently 745. So, uh, not bad. Uh, claims were up for the first time in a while. Uh, 229,000 initial claims. That's 27,000 more than uh, last week. Um, and uh, continuing claims exactly unchanged. That's hard to believe. It's really difficult to have this come out to be an actual zero. Uh, ECB raised uh, interest rates. Asia and Europe were both down. And uh, after yesterday's debacle um, on the net gas, we are still down. Uh, we were down as low as 8 Oh nine and a half, right back into that support, uh, and we have already bounced. Uh, we're down uh, 38, 37, yeah, 38 at eight thirty one ninety. Uh, you know, I think that we're going to bounce back out of here. As I mentioned last night, this does not change anything about the need for nat gas outside the U.S. So. Uh, unfortunate about the uh, explosion in Freeport, Texas, and the decline, but it doesn't make natural gas worth less. It may take a day or so to shake out here, but I think it's going to probably turn right back up. Um, the uh, rest of the markets here, let's take a quick look and see. Uh, Here we go. Okay. Grains mixed, uh, mostly lower. Uh, oil higher again, 122.10. It's only up a little, but, uh, you know, if it continues to hold these areas up here in this 122 or higher, I can't imagine that we don't break through this closing high of 123.70 in the short term. Uh, as far as uh, gold, we are down 270, silver slightly lower, uh, cotton down 65 after yesterday's up two and a quarter, coffee's a little higher, sugar, cocoa. 
both lower and, uh, as I mentioned last night, 573 for the lumber, back below 600. Still double historic prices. The dollar is down about 30 cents. Bitcoin and Ethereum are pretty much unchanged, down 30 to up 7.5, and, and the bonds are down a half a dollar. All right, everyone. Hope everyone has a better day today. It's not starting off particularly well, but, um, you know, I think we're still in somewhat of a rally mode. And tomorrow we have the big number, CPI. Uh, to listen to these uh, talking heads and teleprompter readers, um, you would think that it's absolutely the end of the world, um, but, you know, uh, the Fed is serious about fighting inflation. They do have the tools. It's just a matter of how much damage they're going to do to the economy to get it in hand. I'll be back later.